Okay. So, hello, ladies, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, I'm Björn Aronsson from Hydrogen Sweden, and uh, I will do a completing presentation here of the project H2 Moves. We have heard here from Johnny about the cars. I will not go so deep into technical details, so I will talk a little bit more overview of the project. And here we have a wonderful picture from this country that we often used in the material uh, for this H2 Moves project. And we have this line here today, everywhere, tomorrow. Yesterday was a very important day, not only for Norway, for the complete Europe and for the rest of the world, for everyone working within hydrogen and fuel cells. And uh, we could really see that uh, media was very interested. Uh, it was not only Norwegian people involved in this. We had people from Germany, Sweden, Denmark to make this event happen here at Gausta. And it was really a success, and we could read them in, uh, in press releases all over the world about this inauguration. So this was a very, very important day, and a very positive day. Because now we can see this, the, the infrastructure and the cars are coming in parallel. And here you see the fuel station, <coughs> and here is the mayor cutting the ribbon. So, <coughs> the project is then uh, built up in, uh, as you see here, in two parallel projects. Uh, so there is one Oslo h 2 moves and one h 2 moves Scandinavia for, for the EU members. But it's merged, so uh, we don't see uh, any limit between. There's a, there's a very deep cooperation. The funding is coming from EU funds and Transnova and from Denmark from the EU DP. It's very important to say that <coughs> this is not to verify the technologies in the cars and in the stations. We are beyond that stage. It's now preparing the market for the introduction of, of fuel cells. The members we have from Norway, Bertel and Sten. Um, we have Sintef, looking into the purity of, of the hydrogen. Bertel and Sten with the cars. We have Daimler. We have HO Logic for the fuel station. Hydrogen Sweden is taking care of the marketing and the communication and the road tour. Uh, LBST is the shortening for this company in Germany, and they are the coordinator, the project leader for the whole project. We have two uh, institutions and companies here. That's SP in Sweden and TÜV Süd in Germany. And they are dealing with the safety regulations and the safety issues around the fuel station. And it says here, uh, one further automotive uh, company is joining. And I can officially say now that that's Hyundai. They are officially now a member in this project. So here, is, uh, here are some slides of uh, the member cars and uh, some uh, data about the cars. And I don't want to go deeper into that. So you, you can uh, search the cars outside here and maybe test drive and have a look and go into deeper details. But you see they are driving in the streets, in the roads, so they are ready. Uh, here's the Hyundai car. And also the Think <coughs> that is retrofitted with, uh, with a fuel cell to get a longer range. <coughs> this has actually happened in real life that uh, the Copenhagen cars running for the city of Copenhagen, they are now retrofitted and they reduce the size of the battery and add a fuel cell to get a better range for the car. And here we see the interesting combination for the future, the battery and the fuel cell. So here is the station, state of the art, 700 bar or 70 megapascal to be right. And, uh, this is what the next generation uh, of cars, the state-of-the-art cars, will use that pressure level. And there are some standards. Uh, we have already had some uh, seminars between Sweden, Norway, and Denmark, talking about safety issues, preparing the infrastructure, uh, about permissions to build the stations, uh, risk analysis, and so on. And this is a very interesting cooperation, since we have actually a long time of experience in the countries with with uh, handling hydrogen. And that's especially from the process industry. And hydrogen is used as the, the most used gas in every industry area in, in the modern world. We all passed yesterday with, with a happy smile. 
and uh, with the momentum we should use for the future, for the next step. Uh, on Saturday, there is a chance for everyone to go to Arkebrygge, and there will be a public driving. Um, there will be some more information on the table here. Take the chance and, and take a ride. And there will be people talking also more about the cars. Next year, uh, in connection with the Zero Rally, we will also do a European tour with the cars. And there will be some more car brands joining that tour. Uh, the objective is to have five car brands and uh, we will go through Europe. Uh, the tour is not yet settled. Here is the map. Um, but here is a proposal that we will go through from Oslo through the west coast of Sweden into Denmark, a trip through Ge uh, Germany down to the northern part of Italy, and then up to Brussels. Uh, there might be a way uh, passing Paris up to Brussels and end up in Brussels uh, before the 22nd of June. And this will be, uh, we will be using both uh, uh, fuel stations that are already in position, and we also bring um, a mobile fuel station so we can fill up on the way. And just to show some cities and, and countries that this is something that is coming, and you should also look into the infrastructure issues. So you, you will see a lot more of this. Uh, we have opened a home page here, h 2 Moves EU. And this is within the uh, Scandinavian Corporation. Uh, so you can have a look here, and there will be updates from time to time uh, what will be happening with the cars, that w mainly the cars are running then in Oslo. Uh, the drivers will be interviewed, and things that will be happening, events and so on. And you could all read it here. Uh, we will update with uh, uh, pictures as well. And this is not the only project. We are cooperating in other projects like the Next Move project, and that will be added like a new project here uh, in the menu. So more to come. So this, the proud sponsors are EU. EU money uh, from the seventh frame program that is lifted out and together with the industry created this FCH fuel cell and hydrogen joint undertaking program. And the H2 Move Scandinavia project is the first one, a lighthouse project, a budget of 20 million euro, the biggest one. So we have had a quite a big challenge to be one of the first trying this kind of program, understanding the rules, the economy, and everything inside it. So a, a true challenge, but we will be very proud to run another year now, next year, uh, with all the cars and show that it is possible. And more to come, there are additional three calls uh, in this program for fuel cells. So, the previous speakers have been talking a lot of uh, cooperation. And without cooperation, we wouldn't have this uh, project here. Uh, that is for sure. So these organizations, mainly Hynor Hydrogen Link in Denmark and Hydrogen Sweden, uh, have been cooperating since 2006. Uh, we are different organizations, but we have a clear common target, and we, we, we are attracting the car industry uh, to Scandinavia, and we do deal with uh, the infrastructure questions. So this is a very fruitful co uh, cooperation. In addition, we also have uh, a company uh, called uh, Iceland New Energy on Iceland, that is a part of the group. And I should also say that we have more um, stakeholders in Norway and Denmark also that are cooperating in different projects. So this cooperation opened the eyes for the car industry, so they are interested in this region uh, to bring cars. We have a big plan for the infrastructure build out. The green dots are running stations, up running. <coughs> the yellow ones are <coughs> under uh, construction. And the red ones are not stopped, they are under planning. And you see, in top of Sweden, we have a station every winter now, uh, because this is a winter test area. This gives a clear signal that the cars are coming. They are in the final testing rounds. I just wanted to mention that the drivers behind the stations are not always the same. They are different, different drivers. Some want cars, have a carpool. 
Some are energy companies. Here we have a municipality that wants, we want a station. And there is also an energy company who is looking into energy storing and energy balancing. And we have the same up in the north of Sweden, that we have energy companies who are so interested in energy balancing, energy storage. So they want to have a fuel station and store the energy in hydrogen and then use it for electricity, heating, or as a fuel for transportation. So we can solve many energy issues by looking into hydrogen. I think that's interesting to know. So thank you very much for the attention. Uh, I am open for questions, if we have the time. <laughs>